Offaly's geological story extends across a time span of some 420 million years. The oldest rocks make up the core of the Sleeve Bloom Mountains, and the best place to see them is in the upland glens where streams have cut through a blanket of younger rocks to expose them. These oldest rocks began as blankets of sand and silt that accumulated on the continental shelf along the margins of a long vanished ocean into which they were swept across the deltas of long vanished rivers. And at intervals these great piles of sediment were swept into motion across the continental shelf and spilled over the edge down the continental slope. Perhaps in part because of their own unstable mass triggered it might be by periodic earth movements out into the deep ocean and here they settled out on the bottom layer by layer over a period of hundreds of thousands indeed millions of years. Each of these layers represents a single episode of deposition separated perhaps by uh, an interval of centuries and there are thousands of these layers. Most of them, as you can see, just a few centimetres thick, but occasionally they can be as thick as a metre or more. The total thickness uh, is somewhere in the region of several thousand metres. It's very difficult to get an accurate estimate because the rocks are so poorly exposed at the surface and they're often dislocated by faults. But it must have taken tens of millions of years for the amount of Silurian rock that we see in Sleeve Bloom to accumulate. When they were first laid down on the ocean floor, these rocks were more or less horizontal. But during the great episode of mountain building known as the Caledonian Orogeny that occurred at the end of the Silurian, they were upheaved and folded, and now the beds often incline at a steep angle. They were also cleaved and fractured, so much so that it can be difficult to see where the original layers are. The grey bands here are sandstone and the blue-grey bands are silt or mud. And you can often see the way a particular layer is sandy at one end but gradually becomes finer upwards as progressively smaller particles settled out on the ocean floor. These Silurian rocks in Sleeve Bloom are almost devoid of fossils. Rocks of the same age that were laid down in shallow seas occur in some other parts of Ireland and these can often be full of fossils. But the only fossils that occur in these deep ocean sediments are occasional graptolites. They're not much to look at, but these fossils, which look like little more than pencil marks, are very important in trying to tie down the precise age of the rocks. They enable us to know that these rocks formed during the middle of the Silurian period of Earth history, around 425 million years ago. The Silurian rocks can only be seen where the blanket of old red sandstone rocks of late Devonian age that covers them has been stripped away. This usually happens along the numerous streams that radiate out from the mountains, cutting through the old red sandstone and into the underlying Silurian rocks. These little valleys are often very interesting ecologically as well as for their geological interest, but they can be difficult to get to. Among the most accessible is the lower part of the stream that flows down out of Glenifelli, where the banded character of the rocks, which are so steeply folded that they are vertical, is particularly easy to see. The rocks are a grey or bluish grey colour, although this is not always obvious, because surface weathering and the growth of algae often obscure the colour, and they are banded something that you can see especially clearly where the rocks are constantly water washed.